I'm going. I'm here with Angelica. I'm going to show her what I do here. And she's going to take me for a drive and show me what she does. But I'm going to show her a picture here. Up my mind real quick. I'm going to show Hey, how you doing? Make this young girl's dream come true, right? Hi, Chrome and Steel. Are we having fun yet? He's not sleeping. Yeah. No, I only sleep about 16 minutes a day. That's it. Are you getting in, Bruce? Yep. We're going to get all cuddly up here. Daryl, I was just telling the helica, look at this, look at the, look at the home we have here, the, our little apartment. Our little apartment and our family, <laughs> yeah. our little family. So we're going to roll this window up with the, there we go. It's almost the same as in Sweden. The... Hey, uh, Daryl, uh, let me tell you, we're going to come out here, you're going to make a ride. If you're going to stay, then try to stay on the middle line, and we're going to go follow the directions to the 
Oh, they move the cones for you, do they? Yeah. <laughs> this is not very close to them, uh, as you see now, and they she will come out and move the cones. We got great support from the Dallas Metro Police Department. Uh, they're really doing great, great work. Yes. I love how everything is over here. It's like running into a movie. Way to be officer in Hellicans, I thank you. <laughs> Have you driven this one, Carol? No. Well, there you go. There you go. I know you drive. You like the beat. You like the camera. Yeah. But this is the first time on this, this one. This is the so first time on this one. Huh? Yeah, this is my first time in oh, this truck, so... Look at him, he has to stand in the oh, rain. Yeah, he has to stand in the rain. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's stay in this lane over here. And then, yeah, get on the middle. Yes. We're going to go across a couple of uh, intersections. Merge into 30 feet for the one. Is it loaded? Yes. Okay. We're about 67 pounds, which is about... 67,000 pounds? 40 pounds. Okay. So what are we hauling? Just steel plates? Concrete. Concrete. Where's my wiper down here? I don't see a belt flash blowing yeah. around. Yeah, hey, safety first. Come on. Look at that uh, response to the throttle. Maybe you yeah. should put this seat belt just to print a video. Just to Hello friends from uh, Chrome and Steel Radio, um, glad to be back with you guys and glad to have you. Uh, we are on uh, Kenworth T680 with a special friends from Cummins host. Um, I would like to welcome my friend Daryl Ward and uh, a new friend, Angelica Larsen from Sweden. Yeah, hello. Um, uh, Daryl is very familiar with our products and with Kenworth products and is going to take Angelica around to experience America's finest trucking technology today. It's all yours, buddy. All right, so Angelica, as you said here in the 680 Kenworth. Yeah, first uh, time in a Kenworth. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cummins Power. It's got the smart technology in it with the automatic transmission. The Jake brake is we're gonna turn it down to stage two to start with because it might be a little, a little abrupt on stage three when you're yeah. not used to it. Yeah. But as far as the rest of it goes, I think you're familiar with all of the controls here. We've kind of went over them. Yeah. And uh, you've got your mirrors adjusted and you're ready to roll. Yes. So let's uh, head out the drive here and let's go to the right and let's get on the highway and let's give it a nice test drive. Yes. You are in the 680s, world's finest technology powered by Cummins. Yes. That's exactly right. And one thing that I would like you to introduce her to, Daryl, is um, set cruise control and let the ADAPT technology and the smart coast happen. There's a couple of instances that we can see that in the uh, in the highway today. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Okay, and you've got the cruise, cruise control figured out there, yeah. on, off, yeah. set. I recognize them from the scan yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yes. So you're familiar, I guess. We're yeah. ready to head out the door. Yes. Seatbelt? <laughs> Maybe. Yep, go ahead. Put it, put it back in. Go. There you go. There you go. State, then we'll be able to set our cruise control and, and uh, we'll both learn a little something. I'm not a lot of automatic in my industry. We run the manual transmissions. But, so there's always something new to learn. Every day is a school day. Okay. I've been around trucks all my life. But, uh, new technology and engine development and transmissions and the new technology is uh, fuel economy, longevity. Straight. Should I change? No, straight. 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 You ready to take one of these? 
back to Sweden already, aren't you? Oh yes, they have Cummins in Europe. They have Cummins around the world. Okay. There's probably more Cummins engines on this planet than there is any other diesel engine. Yeah. That's right, brother. State 2 seconds, just wave to all your uh, fans up there. Daryl is a bunch of them there. Like What's that? Said, hi. You want to say hi to all your fans? You know, yeah, I do have a lot of fans out there. They've been watching the show. The season premiere was August 4th. And, right, uh, right. Show's going well, and I do want to thank all my fans for watching the show and keeping things going the way they're going for me. Without my fans, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now. I wouldn't be sitting here riding in this brand new 680 Kenwood with the Angelica from Sweden, and so every process, every progress is, is progress, you know. So thanks to all my fans, this is where I'm at today. So, what do you think of uh, U.S. technology today? to Swedish trucks, European trucks. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of going now, you know, because we have not much technology of the trucks in Sweden. U.S. number one truck right here. Yeah. Number one truck in the world. I love it. You feel that? Yeah. Power. Yeah. Feel the power. Feel the power. <laughs> so you're gonna get one ordered up and shipped over? You buy it. <laughs> <laughs> if I buy it. Huh? Yeah. I buy it, you'll ship it. Yeah, yeah I can drive it. <laughs> it's Mark Osteen on the way. What's that, Mario? This is Mark Osteen on the way. On, on the gauge? Seconds. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not real familiar with the Smart Coast technology as I run the manual transmission, but you see the blue bar on the, the graph on the dash? That's the coasting technology. So right now, we're under a little bit of power. But, you know, what's the 6.4 miles per gallon? What is that? What? I think the, the average that we've been getting through this route, right? It's, the instantaneous is that right, right there quite a bit more yeah yeah so running around the city here just doing the testing see that bar graph is all the way up right now this thing's just coasting totally coasting look at your tachometer what are you running a thousand rpm over there yeah 1, 
you know, I'm, the Mario could tell us a lot more about the Smart Coast technology than what I can, because I'm an industrial log hauler and I burn fuel. Yeah, in these tires. Yeah, this is more of a fleet spec, but it's the most um, fuel efficient we have in this camera. And um, we have predictive cruise control here. We have a GPS antenna right there in the windshield, and we have a box that has information about the roads. And two miles ahead, we know what, it, what is coming, whether it is an uphill or a downhill. And we use that information to make a decision if we can go and take advantage of the momentum, the gravity, and let that to do the work. Like right now, it's happening. Yeah, right, right now we're coasting. The momentum and the gravity is, is making the truck move. The transmission got out of gear, and the engine went to idle or ralenti. Yeah. Now, there you see the tack just yeah. jumped back up as it, as it went back in the gear and started pulling again. So what is the average, what, what kind of mileage are you talking about on the highway? You know, right now we're just driving around Dallas. So I know your best fuel economy is when you're running down the interstate, your cruise control set at your cruise speed, and you put some miles behind you to where it can get an average rating. What is the average fuel economy on highway driving for this application? Uh, excellent question and with the, uh, the the crew coming from Columbus 900 miles we got a pretty good sample and uh, Bill Plasson your, your friend and partner drove this truck he got out of the truck and says Mario I got 9.8 9.8 miles to the gallon that's incredible that's incredible I'm used to pulling a train load of logs and getting 3.2 you know off highway in the bush you know, I'm, I'm, I run around three miles to the gallon with what I'm running, but I'm total performance package too, manual transmission. This, as soon as you start downhill, it kicks it to neutral, drops the engine to idle, lets momentum and gravity take over. So, as far as a fleet driver goes, or a fleet company, this is what you would need for your bottom line. Exactly, exactly right. If I could pull nine miles to the gallon with a log truck, I would definitely put a lot more money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know, that's what it's all about, the trucking, is how much money you can put in your pocket and, the other and thing, not in the fuel tank. And the other thing that we're learning, Darrell, is that with the engine running solo RPMs and spending so much time in idle, um, the engine is going to last longer. The engine's going to last a lot longer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, RPM, revolutions per minute, is what wears out a truck. You know, back in the day when they were running those things up there, 2,000 RPM, that 2,000 revolutions a minute, those engines are not going to last near as long as one that's running 1,100 right now. And when it drops over the hill, it drops to an idle of 600 RPM. You know, that's three times the life of an engine. Exactly. Very simple. We're gonna we're gonna take I twenty going east. So east, right? Yes. Yeah. So you can tell from that the exit. So yeah, that's that's three times the life of an engine. Exactly. You know, that's that's a huge savings. Huge savings. Between the life of the engine and the fuel economy. I guess at my age I'd never have to buy another truck. <laughs> Well, that's exactly right. And um, the other thing is, but what we have to work is make our engine brake work at low RPMs. Uh -huh. And you can see how well it's working. It's even harsh. You have to actually, you, 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 you took it down. Yeah, I took it down. Step back up there. Yeah. Up the engine brake. But I'm yeah. quite used to the engine brakes. You were? Yeah. Well, we have it on both scan ammo. Yeah, but not like this. Look at these. This is going to stop really quick. This, this will stop well. you really quick, this engine brake well. So we were running down on one, stage one. And you can meet it up with a yes. So yeah. You see how strong it is? Yeah. We have already a very good engine brake. We made it even better. Yeah. With the track like, 50. Yeah.
I'm telling you, in September, we're going to be in Germany in the truck show. Okay. And we're going to be presenting the X15 Euro 6 engine. Okay. You getting the chance to drive one oh, before I anybody has oh. seen it. It's basically this base engine. Yeah, we did so, that. And we're giving you a very, very uh, special yeah. opportunity. Oh, yes. we, we really thank you to <laughs> Thank yeah. you the, the chance to drive our drone with our latest and finest technology. Yeah, we'd love that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You can take this technology right home with you. Yeah, I think so. And show it off to them when you get there. Yeah. Are you coming? I can. <laughs> no, you have your plane. Yeah. Helicopters. Yeah. Let's just come over on yeah that, our, our planes don't fly that kind of course no. those are those are uh, commercial airliners that fly that far yeah Until the day that we have our Lear jet we'll be flying commercial one day we'll come one day we'll come so yeah, can you press the yep I don't have to, don't use, have to use the feet. No, nope. nope. it'll accelerate for you. Yeah. You can just keep bumping it until you get to the speed you want. Yeah. What is your speed limit in Sweden? It's 55 minus per hour. Oh, no, 80. 80. No, wait. 55. It's 50. 50 with the trailer. 50 with the trailer. Yeah, without the trailer. Oh. 55. Yeah, okay, so, okay. Yeah. 50 with the trailer, 65 without? No, oh, 55. Oh, 55 yeah. without. 50 with, 55 without. So it's... Yeah, you never dream it from this fast. No, I haven't. Only downhill. <laughs> you were speeding. Yeah, and it's like, bum, 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 coming up like, you're driving too fast. <laughs> Angelica, we're going to make this exit to turn around. Yeah. Like we did yesterday. Feel that Jake break on three? Yeah. How heavy are we? 68,000? We yeah. weigh 68,000 pounds. Right now, 34 tons. It's working great. It is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's one advantage. Power three. Well, so that is the smart advantage power chain. And like I say, I'm not familiar with them. I'm becoming more familiar with them, but I'm so off-road oriented that... What do you think, Aaron? Impressive. It's amazing. It's amazing as I watch this, the, the smart shift pattern or the smart technology as I can see how the transmission drops the engine to an idle when the transmission actually kicks to neutral. Exactly. And let's have free roll. Free roll. Left. Yep. I just stick your foot in it. If you put it on the rest, it goes up to the speed you had before you put the brakes on. Yep. So they kind of have a memory. Yeah, they do have a memory. They remember everything that you did. Yeah. They'll even tattle on you if I go in there and see what kind of What's breaking and over revving and all of that. Yeah. You know. So that's technology we've had for a while. The tattletale box, we used to call it. Yeah. And uh, I could tell tell excessive braking, and I could tell engine over speed, and all of these things, and it gives me an idea 
of what kind of driver I have behind the wheel. Yeah. That technology today is getting so smart that drivers can't actually do that. You know, they, yeah. it's just no. Look at this. Right now, it's taking yep. a, a, a five five hundred RPM. Yeah, five hundred RPMs at sixty-five miles an hour, just coasting. Right now, this thing's not burning any fuel, yep. just idling along. drive this truck very well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All you have to do is press the yes. <laughs> <laughs> it does the rest, doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I remember the day of running a five and a four transmission and so noisy and hot you couldn't hardly put your feet on the floorboard. Oh. Yes, you know, the first truck I ever bought had it. 350 big cam Cummins in it, five and a four transmission, it was a feeder belt, and you know, it didn't have the air conditioning or anything. From then to now, in my lifetime, the advance in technology just blows my mind. Yes, yes. Going too fast, far forward. It's, it's amazing how fast the technology has leaped forward. Even even since Cummins developed the N14, which was has always been my favorite engine, was the N14. It was bulletproof, it was indestructible, it had good power. Yeah. But it, it didn't have the economy and the smart technology that they have here. You know, you got it. The, the technology is, I, I don't even know how to say it, the advancements in technology in the last 15 years. I think the exit is coming right there to go to 30. The strides have been amazing in, in the last 15 minutes. Right, right here. Yeah, it's down the left. Okay. They're good there. West 30. You feeling it? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Like you said, Angelica, you're not touching at all the pedals. No. It's the truck is doing everything, right? Yeah. It is. But you like it? Yes. <laughs> well, she's, she's got better shoes on today. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah, not doing high heels. So, Daryl, you, you and I have here that people say that the, the trucks in Europe are really good. But I think today we demonstrate to Angelica that we have great, great trucks. You know, yeah, I think, I, I think that Angelica is living proof. She drives those trucks every day, all of the time. Now she has come to America and jumped into this truck, Cummins engine, and I guess she's the one to best make that opinion. I've never been to Europe and driven them trucks. No? I mean, I don't know. What your trucks are like compared to this? You would have to go and try. If you could sit in any truck, which one would you sit in? If I should sit you in a truck. Huh? If I could put you in a truck. No, if I could put you in any truck you want to drive anywhere you want, if you could take this truck to Europe and trade it for the one you're driving. Oh, I would take this one. You would take, yeah, this, I would one. take this one. Yeah. Now that right there tells me exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. Hear. We see your smile. We yeah. see your smile. So, you, Steve. So yeah, you would take this one over anything you've ever driven before? Yeah, I would. Yeah. And everyone would look at the truck because it's so fancy to have like the nose trucks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'd be a big hit in Europe with this, wouldn't you? Yeah. <coughs> Probably get yellows. 
<laughs> Probably yeah. would be. You're doing very well on a yellow gap. Keep going straight. Getting familiar of the ropes now. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yeah. I see that. You're, you're getting more familiar with them than I am because I haven't been driving. You haven't driving this time, I'm afraid. And it, it, it's amazing when you sit in the passenger seat how much you don't pay attention to where you're going. So I'd have to call this the world's finest truck. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So what more could you ask for? The world's finest truck for the world's finest driver. Maybe. World's best technology right here. Finest trucks, find the world's finest drivers, and the finest engineers too. Don't, don't forget about me. Actually, uh, in, 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 in the world's finest passengers. Yeah, well. finest passengers. Actually, speaking, in, the, in the world's speaking finest speaking friends. Speaking of passengers, you got the, you got a bunch of fans that are asking you, how does it feel sitting in the passenger seat? <laughs> you know, it keeps coming. I'm gonna back. tell you what. If you were sitting in the passenger seat and had the view I've got, Dallas is beautiful. Very well. I concur. <laughs> so I, we're going to start calling her Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> Angelica, the, uh, uh, the light is a very short light. As yeah. soon as you should be, you go. Yeah. And don't worry about it. It's it, that those arrows that are red will go off and there will be a good Go. Mash it, mash it, mash it. Go Just go. Okay. Yeah, I want to stop. Let's go. Yeah, you're going to make a left here, so maybe give yourself room. Sorry, I'm right. You're going to go right. I'm going to You really got to learn left and right. He's, he's always backwards. <laughs> Dallas confuses me. You got a red light here. Dallas confuses me. Dallas. Dallas confuses me too. <laughs> Hello, we're almost done. <laughs> there you go. Green light. All right, the camera is back to base camp, ready for the next ride. Perfect. Right again. Yeah, you want to do it right in the, where the cones, so she needs to get her sales room as well. Yeah, you gotta make a ride in here, so you definitely gotta get yourself on the second line. The whole highway. Second line. Yeah. The police is gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get some attention now. Check it out for that. How many what? Guys. I'm telling you, we got a load. You what? We got a full load. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, we come nice you. What's the bus Angelica, when we are the out, down. Keep pulling forward, Angelica. Yeah. Okay. Good to stop right here. Perfect. Perfect. Park. Are we in park? Yeah. All right. So you does, you does stay it. in the truck for two seconds. Zero's going to open the door for you. Yep. Yeah. Then I'm we'll well. get you get in. Is that what it is? All right, Angelica, we did, you did a fabulous job.
How was it? Can you turn it on to the mic? So, final thoughts? Thank you for taking a helicopter around in this truck. The helicopter doing a great job driving this truck. Now, after driving this truck, what do you think about the technology we have in America? I want to say that we're going to take you here. You want to stay here? How do you like the Cummings engine in this truck? Yeah.